So, I took the bait. They got me. So I managed to avoid Apple in 2019 and 2020. But this time in 2021, I folded on the pressure. I folded under pressure and I got myself the iPhone 13, the standard iPhone 13. I pre-ordered it and I picked it up on the 24th of September. At the start of September, I already knew I wanted a new iPhone, but I didn't know if I wanted the most recent one. I really had one reason to buy a new iPhone, which was my iPhone X is almost close to dying. So that was my only reason why I wanted to buy a new phone, but I waited for the Apple event. And if the Apple event was really good and the iPhone they were presenting was really good, I might consider buying a new iPhone. And... I was impressed with the iPhone 13. I wasn't really interested in the tech per se at the beginning, but more so for the cameras that come with the iPhone 13. So I have a big, big extreme bias against the iPhone and not for the device itself, but more for the utilization of the iPhone. I personally, when I shoot my videos, I always shoot with my Canon EOS R P. And sometimes I forget to charge an extra battery, so my camera dies on the spot. In such a situation, you would love to have a phone on your hand you could use to shoot some B-roll shots so you can get the shots and progress in your workflow. And I never, ever, 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 ever used the iPhone X as a secondary camera. I didn't even acknowledge it as a secondary camera. And the reason for that is the quality difference between the Canon EOS RP and the iPhone X was just so big. I couldn't allow myself to use the iPhone X footage inside of my videos. The iPhone X didn't cut it for me. It didn't do it. So I never, ever, ever used it. But, this is where the iPhone 13 comes into play. So the iPhone 13 has some really, really great specs and I want to cover some of them because there are a lot, but I'm not going to cover all of them. But the ones I really love are the fact that the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini has two lenses or cameras. And one of them is the wide angle lens and the other one is the ultra wide angle lens and the ultra wide angle lens has a f-stop of 2.4 while the wide angle lens has a f-stop of 1.6 which is really amazing i'm falling in love with the ultra wide angle lens i really really love it the iphone 13 also has night mode so it helps you shoot better footage during the night time so another cool feature on the iphone 13 is the deep Fusion and the deep fusion essentially is the iPhone takes four images before you click the shutter and it takes five or four images while you are clicking the shutter and it tries to find the best possible combination in terms of sharpness, highlights, shadows, the blacks, the whites and it tries to make the best possible image so you get the perfect, perfect image or at least the best possible image in your certain situation. Another great feature the Apple iPhone 13 has is photographic styles and photographic styles to my understanding are picture profiles you can apply before you shoot a photo instead of after photo like a filter so you have different picture profiles or different photographic styles you can apply onto your footage before you shoot the footage itself so you actually shooting with the picture profile or with the photographic style on it which is really 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 dope so the iphone 13 features are amazing the deep fusion the night mode the photographic styles the ultra wide angle lens and the wide angle lens i really re you guys know how much i love the wide angle lens having the normal iphone 13 with the ultra wide angle lens is just but to really see how good 
the iPhone 13 is we have to have a reference point we have to compare it to something else in order to see if it looks good so we are going to test out the iPhone 13 with the Canon EOS RP just to see how good the iPhone 13 actually is because we need a reference point in order to give it a good or a bad rating right so iPhone 13 camera test let's go The main reason why I have such a bias against the iPhone or shooting with your iPhone is the lack of control. But when I'm out and about shooting with my iPhone X, I most of the time don't have control over the settings. So when it's too bright outside or when it's too dark outside, I don't really have a lot of settings, a lot of functions I could use in order to compensate for the bad lighting situation. So without me being able to properly manually set my settings in order to compensate for the situation I am in it makes it really difficult to get good footage in overexposed or low light situations so luckily we have the iPhone 13 so the iPhone 13 gives us a lot of control over the way how we shoot our footage and it's something that I really really like so the way how Apple gave us this ability to have more control is through two things having more control over the exposure and the depth of field and adjusting the depth of field after you shot your video or photo in the camera app on your iPhone 13 you have two buttons in cinematic mode and in portrait mode which is the depth of field or the f-stop button which will increase or decrease the amount of blur you have in portrait mode and in cinematic mode and not only that but you also have in portrait mode normal photo mode normal video mode and cinematic mode you have the ability to change the exposure so you can make your footage look brighter or darker depending on the situation you are in and something the iPhone X doesn't have both of these things. Having the ability to change the exposure, change the depth of field and the amount of blur you have is just amazing. It's just such a leap forward that gives me my control back that I want. Something that the iPhone X took away from me and I really, really, really like that. Kudos to Apple. They did a really, really, really great job to give me my control back because I'm such a control freak. So. Thank you, Apple. So, another reason why I never use my iPhone X as a secondary camera to shoot B-roll is the quality. The quality of the iPhone X was just... And as I said in the beginning of this video, because the quality difference between my Canon EOS RP and the iPhone X was so big, I never wanted to mix up the iPhone X footage with my Canon EOS RP footage in my YouTube videos. I never wanted to do that because it would fluctuate between quality in my opinion. But the iPhone X could make a difference in that. The iPhone 13 I mean, sorry. The iPhone 13 quality is much better and the reason for that is the sensors on the iPhone 13 are a lot bigger. And we all know what happens when your sensor is a lot bigger. Your pixels are bigger as well and that means much more light comes into the camera slash lens. So much more light comes into the iPhone 13 camera which allows it to have much more detail. One thing that helps as well with the quality is the high dynamic range or the HDR. And in cinematic mode, you have HDR and Dolby Vision. And high dynamic range gives the iPhone 13 and higher dynamic range to catch the colors and the sharpness within the highlights and in the shadows. Something that the iPhone X also has without the Dolby Vision, but obviously on the iPhone 13 with the higher quality, it's much better on the iPhone 13. Another thing why the quality could be better on the iPhone 13 and is better on the iPhone 13 is cinematic mode. And I haven't really talked about cinematic mode that much because everybody does it. Cinematic mode gives you the ability to shoot in HDR with Dolby Vision so you have a higher dynamic range but it also gives you the ability to have fake blur or at least the depth of field 
and we also talked about can change the depth of field later in post but having the depth of field having the blur behind you makes your footage look much better and the only thing that cinematic mode has as a downside in my opinion or the two things it has as a downside in my opinion is the fake blur it looks a little bit fake you can see it and the other thing is cinematic mode only works on 1080p 30 frames per second and that's not a bummer for me because I always shoot 1080p so that's not a huge deal for me but for people who likes to shoot in 4k the cinematic mode doesn't have 4k with the overall quality being better on the iPhone 13 I don't know how it stacks up against the Canon EOS RP but that's why we make this video so we can compare it so we can compare the footage or at least you guys can compare the footage so let me know in the comment section down below if you have seen the differences or if you haven't seen the differences let me know in the comment section down below even though the iPhone 13 is not perfect the iPhone 13 is pretty darn good so the last thing but certainly not least is habit 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 one of the reasons why i had a bias against using an iphone as a secondary hands-on camera was just because of habit i had the habit of always using my camera i had the mindset of when i'm going to shoot a video i'm always shooting with my camera nothing else and if i can't shoot I can shoot. But I always had the idea of I always want to make the best quality content I can possibly make. Using an iPhone X was something that went against my idea. Idea and way of working became a habit for me. I did I always did the same thing. I always thought the same thing when it came to shooting videos or photos. But I think for a secondary camera, for a second camera that I always have on hand iPhone 13 is doing a great job right now I'm going to give it a try so with that being said if you like the video make sure to leave a like make sure you subscribe because a lot of people aren't subscribed and make sure you click the bell you know all that good YouTube stuff if you like this type of content and if you want to stick around obviously the last thing I'm going to ask you guys is make sure to leave a comment because I really want to know your thoughts about the iPhone 13 do you like it do you dislike it do you like the footage you saw today or do you dislike the footage? Are you impressed by the footage or aren't you really impressed by the footage? Do you have an iPhone 13 or not? Let me know in the comment section down below because I really, 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 really want to know how you guys think about this topic. So with that being said, guys, if you see this video on this Friday, it's my birthday. So I'm going to celebrate after I finished editing this video. So. <laughs> I see you guys in the next video. Peace.